Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another lesson on electrical circuits. Today we're going to try and explain to you guys the meaning behind this equation V equals IR. And in order to understand V equals IR, um, so V is the voltage, I is the current, and R is the resistance. Okay, I need to provide to you guys another model. Okay, another model for understanding an electric circuit. Okay, so let's draw a normal circuit to start off. So I have an electric circuit, I have um, the positive terminal and the negative terminal, and let's say I have let's say a light bulb somewhere in the circuit okay and you remember that you need you always need at least one component in a circuit otherwise you will create a short circuit in which the um, either the battery or the wires will uh, be set on fire and the reason for that will explain later but you need something that consumes the energy uh, given by the battery. So this is a picture of a circuit. Okay, now I want to draw a conceptual model for understanding how the electricity flows in this circuit. So let's say um, in your backyard there is a um, let's say a waterfall okay an artificial waterfall so you I guess you can call this the waterfall model okay so let's say you have a hill right you have a hill and water is flowing down the hill right actually it might work better if I use different colors so you have a hill and you have the water flowing down the hill and what happens when uh, what happens after the water gets to the bottom of the hill right there is a water pump okay I'm not sure how to draw one but let's just say there's a pump there's a water pump that pumps the water back up to the top okay so the water pump pumps the water uh, back up to the to the top of the back up to the top of the um, hill so there's some water uh, traveling through the pump so the pump pumps the water back up to the top and then it flows down again okay so how is this the same as the electric circuit okay basically you can think of the battery as the pump the pump is equal to the battery right because what's happening is as the pump pumps the water back up the hill what's happening in this system is now that the water at the top of the hill just before it starts flowing down again has gravitational potential energy so there is a increase in gravitational potential energy as the water travels up the pipe and then as the water comes down it loses uh, there is a loss in gravitational gravitational potential energy loss in gravitational potential energy as the water um, it's coming down back to the ground again. Okay, I know this is sort of a really bad diagram, but that's how it works. So, how is this related to the battery? Well, if you guys remember, okay, when I talked about voltage in the beginning, I talked about the voltage, um, let's say the battery has 6 volts, the voltage is how much energy is supplied to each coulomb of charge right and in this case 
the waterfall model shows you that the gravitational potential energy can be used to model electrical potential energy in a circuit right because the higher this water pump pumps up the water the more gravitational potential energy there will be uh, uh, the more gravitational potential energy will be gained as the water moves up to the top and then the more gravitational potential energy will be lost as the water comes down the hill and that's basically what the battery is doing okay so you can imagine the voltage okay by the way this is all a conceptual model okay um, you can imagine the voltage as the height as the height of the as the height of the waterfall okay you can imagine the voltage as the height of the waterfall so then how does the current how is the current represented in this model is you can imagine the current as the amount of water flowing past a point alright so uh, the amount of water flow okay so now that we use this model to represent uh, voltage and currents you can sort of now understand the equation V equals IR if I draw one more graph okay just one more graph before I explain to you the equation so I'm gonna draw a straight line graph of sorry not straight line I'm gonna draw a uh, Cartesian plane that represents the uh, currents in the x-axis I is the current and vertical axis I'm gonna draw uh, I'm gonna represent the voltage and what's happening is that if you use this waterfall model to represent the relationship between the current and the voltage in other words the height of the waterfall and the amount of water that flows past the point okay you can say that the higher the waterfall the more water is going to flow past a point right if I drew a really high waterfall okay so let's say I drew a really high waterfall all right so it's a lot higher than this and there's water flowing down right which model which picture do you think the water will flow faster all right it's obviously going to be this one it's going to be this one this one with a higher um hill a higher cliff will have water falling down faster so you can say that as heights increases water flow increases okay as height increases water flow increases so what that means is as voltage increases current increases as voltage increases current increases so to represent that on a graph okay you will have a straight line like this so it is a straight line graph and uh, of uh, this graph is of voltage against current as voltage increases current increases so now that we have established a relationship between voltage and current and we can see that 
this is a straight line equation. If you guys remember um, grade 9 algebra, you'd remember that we represent a straight line um, using the equation y equals mx plus c. Okay, y equals mx plus c is the equation of a straight line and because c is the y-intercept okay the line intersects the y-axis at y is equal to zero so therefore in this equation it'll just be y equals mx because c is equal to zero so it's just y equals mx now um, m is the gradient M is the gradient, so Y is the voltage, X is the current. So now we just got to figure out what M equals. Okay, so let's draw a couple of situations. So we have two hills. Okay, we have two hills. We have water flowing down each hill. Okay, and remember how we said the height of the hill is the voltage, it represents the voltage. The amount of water, the speed of the water flowing past is represented as the, um, as the current, represents the current. Okay, now, um, let's say in this first hill, okay, there are no obstacles. Okay, there's no obstacles, the water just flows straight down. Okay, but in the second hill, what I'm going to put are some obstacles on the hill. Okay, so I'm going to have some, let's say, tree branches. Alright, some tree branches coming off the hill that is obstructing the water from flowing down. Okay, so what's going to happen in each of these is that if I draw a straight line um, equation to represent each situation. Okay, so let's say this is situation one, this is situation number two. All right, and we, ha we have the current and the voltage. Okay, in the first equation, the straight line will be model like this okay as the voltage increases as the height increases the current increases um, and in the second situation even though the voltage and the current um, is constant because we have added in all this resistance okay what's going to happen is it's going to reduce the current so it'll look like this. So this is situation number one, this is situation number two. Right, because of all these obstacles, it will reduce, it'll reduce the amount of water that is flowing past per second. So even though the voltage is the same, right, the water is coming from a position of this height, okay, the same height, and the water is flowing down because there is resistance here not as much current is going to flow past not as much water is going to flow past so the gradient of the gradient of a um, voltage against current graph is equal to the resistance of the circuit. Right, so these tree branches, these tree branches will represent the resistance. And in our circuit, you guys remember all the way back up here, the resistance is um, the light bulb. The light bulb is going to resist the current. Okay, so um, 
that's why uh, we have the equation the resistance is equal to V divided by I okay which is the gradient of this graph okay the gradient of the straight line uh, so you can also rearrange this equation which will give you voltage equals I times R V equals I R so basically what you have to take away from this tutorial is that as I increases so as the current increases the resistance decreases right I increase resistance decrease okay so in this situation if you remember if I have less uh, tree branches the water flow will increase but if I have more tree branches the water flow will decrease okay so if I have more tree branches the current will decrease okay so that is uh, I guess not the end of this tutorial because I'm gonna give you guys a question to practice so here's the question a current of 3 amps flows through a resistor the resistor has a voltage of 15 volts across it. Find the resistance of the resistor. So, if you guys remember the equation, R equals V over I. Okay, so R is equal to um, 15 divided by 3, because V is equal to 15, and, right, because that's the voltage, and the current is equal to 3, so that's the current. So 15 divided by 3 is 5 and the um, units for the resistor is written like this which um, is pronounced ohms right because um, the person that invented this was called ohm or invented or discovered or whatever so the resistance is 5 ohms uh, let's just do another quick question so calculate the current flowing through a 5 ohm resistor that has 15 volts across it okay so again V equals IR and if I rearrange this equation I will get I is equal to V over R so that's uh, 15 over uh, 5 because the resistance is 5 and the answer is 3 amps okay I hope you guys understand this tutorial thanks for watching see you next time